Very interesting drug. It had really good pharmacokinetics and results in early phase. So the idea was why not test in the metastatic disease setting? And what they showed in this trial in patients who could not have uh, had a taxane as their last therapy, not progressed, and most of them hadn't had metastatic taxanes, uh, was that the response rate was substantially higher getting the OPE, uh, oral taxane with Ansequitar, uh, compared to IV paclitaxel at the FDA-approved dose of 175 milligrams per meter squared every three weeks, which is really interesting. And they also looked at safety endpoints. And what they showed was much less alopecia and remarkably much less neuropathy. And that goes into what the significance of these oral taxanes are in clinical practice. They showed less neuropathy over time, which was interesting. And no matter how you looked at it, there was less neuropathy and less gr a lower grade. Very, very important. They looked at overall survival, and their evaluation included a funny population. It's a modified intent to treat. So not everybody who was randomized and got drug. You have to have received at least seven doses, or uh, essentially one cycle uh, of paclitaxel worth of OPE. So one cycle of paclitaxel, you get the drug dose and you wait three weeks. For OPE, it was seven doses, which was similar to that, uh, the amount of taxane you'd be exposed to, but they would have taken, of course, over three weeks, nine pills, nine sets of doses. Uh, so that was the modified intent to treat, so that excluded about 42 patients. When they looked at that group at an early analysis, there appears to be a significant improvement in overall survival favoring the OPE as well, which is early but very interesting and exciting results.